Good morning, good afternoon, and or good evening, everyone. Today I'm presenting this work on enriching knowledge bases with interesting negative statements. My name is Hiba. I'm a PhD student at Max Planck Institute for Informatics, and this is a collaborative work with Simon Raznowski and Gerhard Weikum. Querying a knowledge base, for example, Wikidata, about the awards of Stephen Hawking, will return 42 awards that he has won. One salient award that he has not won is the Nobel Prize in Physics. Existing positive-only knowledge bases are unaware of salient negation. Our proposal today is to explicitly add salient negative statements to knowledge bases, that Stephen Hawking did not win the Nobel Prize in Physics, and that despite what some people might think, Istanbul is not the capital of Turkey. But how are we going to identify these salient negations? Knowledge bases operate under the open word assumption. So a statement that is not asserted in the knowledge base is not necessarily false. It might be, but it is considered unknown. To make it clear that we are not proposing to add every possible negation um, or perfectly completing the knowledge base. We are not interested in asserting uh, non-salient statements like um, that Hawking did not win the, uh, the, the Player of the Year award or that Iceland is not a member of the Arab League. These negations are correct, but they are not salient. So in this work, we propose the peer-based statistical inference method with a local closed word assumption, followed by a learning to rank model. To summarize the idea, uh, given a knowledge base and an entity, we aim to select highly related entities of an entity E, we call them peers, and then we use these peers to set a number of positive expectations about E, and the absence of those expectations may be interesting for E. In this solution, we are assuming that within a group of peers, uh, there's a local closed word assumption. Let's go through the steps in more details. Given a knowledge base again, and an entity, say the knowledge base is Wikidata and the entity is Hawking. We first start by collecting Hawking's peers. We already mentioned that peers are highly related entities, so how can we select them? Many options are suitable here. Um, for example, using um, entity embeddings and cosine similarity to get, to get the, the closest neighbors. Another option, which I use in this slide, um, are the structured facets, uh, where we assign type-like facets that we can use to group entities. For example, for people, it could be um, occupations. So one of Hawking's peer groups in this case is uh, other physicists. In step two, we collect statements about every member of the group, counting the relative frequency of every statement within the group, and also dropping any statement that is valid for Hawking, um, like that he speaks English. On top of the relative frequency, we do some further scoring using additional supervised and unsupervised features that we tune using a regression model. And finally, we output the ranked list of uh, interesting negative st statements about Hawking or about any given entity. We have conducted a number of experiments, but for the sake of time, I will mention a few and go into more details on only two of them. Given the high number of candidates uh, of, of candidate negations our method would produce, we wanted to assess the quality of our ranking model. Next, in our first extrinsic evaluation, we wanted to show that users in general might be interested in uh, knowing negative information about entities on top of the traditional positive-only information. Lastly, we conduct a third um, extrinsic evaluation to show the ability of the current structured search engines to answer negative queries. Discuss the, the entity summarization use case in details. We chose Wikidata as our knowledge base and 100 entities from a variety of types. We ask every annotator to uh, choose the better set of facts about a given entity, uh, which set is more interesting to them. One of these sets, we retrieve only positive uh, statements about, about the entity, and then the other one, we choose a mix of positive and uh, our first salient negative statements. Results show that annotators on average preferred the mixed set, so the positive and negative set, almost four times more uh, than they preferred the positive only set. We repeat the same experiment on a decision-making task. We collect structured features about uh, 50 US hotels from booking.com. We apply our statistical inference method uh, to infer negative features about each hotel. We then ask users if they were to decide whether to stay in this hotel uh, or not, which set of features is, is more helpful to, uh, for them to make this decision. In this work, we showed that negations are useful for entity summarization 
for decision making and for question answering. We propose a method to automatically discover salient negative statements. A few things that I did not have the time to mention here, but would encourage you to check in the paper. Uh, we do more experiments on interestingness and correctness of our inferred statements. We propose a second methodology that extracts salient uh, negations from text. And we make the first data sets on interesting uh, negations and make data publicly available. Please visit our webpage. Thank you for listening and looking forward to answering your questions in the interactive session.